In Mortal Kombat, there are always characters we want to see return in the next game, but at the same time there are also characters we don't want to see return in the next game. This video will be about the Mortal Kombat characters I personally do not want to see return in Mortal Kombat 12. Now I'm not going to be including characters that really no one wants to see return like Su Hao or Movado. This will be my personal list of who I don't want to see come back and don't worry guys, Su Hao is not on this list. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and if you have any characters you don't want to see come back in the next game, let me know down in the comments below. And also, if there's something you want to see me make a video about in the future, put it down in the comments below and if I make a video about it, I'll give you a shout out. With that out the way, let's get into the video. Kenshi. Don't get me wrong, I like Kenshi, but I think we all have to agree that he hasn't really been doing much in the current timeline, has he? In this timeline, there isn't anything inherently wrong with Kenshi, he's just incredibly boring. He has done nothing in the current timeline. In the Midway games, he at least had the cool lone wolf kind of story. I was never a fan of his gameplay in any of his games, especially Mortal Kombat X, and the only way I can see them making Kenshi's story interesting again would, would to make his and Takeda's endings canon where they free Taven. That's the only way I think they can make him interesting again, to me at least. I covered this in a previous video, but how cool would it be if Takeda and Kenshi freed Taven and that triggers Armageddon somehow and they all go hunt down Dagon? This current Kenji has nothing, he's painfully boring to me, and they have to do something new with his character to make him interesting again. Shiva. If I'm gonna be honest, I was never a big fan of Shiva, but it got way worse in Mortal Kombat 11. Honestly, I think it's funny in this game, she's almost like a parody of an SJW, and apparently when Sindel defeated her in Aftermath, that killed her somehow, and we didn't know this until it was confirmed on a survey by Netherrealm. I don't want her to be in this game because I personally don't like her gameplay or story, she's kind of boring and making her the queen of the Shokan doesn't make her interesting, and it's okay if you do, I just personally don't. In my opinion, the Shokan that should be in Mortal Kombat 11 is Kintaro. I'll talk more about this in, a, in my next video because I am planning my next video to be a Mortal Kombat 12 roster video, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. In every iteration, Shiva has been incredibly dull and pretty much the same. In Mortal Kombat 3, I guess you could say that she was the unique one on the playable roster, even though I'm pretty sure she's bottom tier in terms of gameplay. I mean, there's a reason she didn't return until Mortal Kombat Armageddon, which is where everyone came back, and in Mortal Kombat 9, which was a reunion of the trilogy characters. And in Mortal Kombat 11, she might not be as boring as her previous versions, but she is incredibly annoying to me if I'm going to be honest with you. Aaron Black. Now, this is going to be a controversial, I know there are a lot of Aaron Black fans out there, and don't get me wrong, he is cool, but the reason I don't want to see him return in Mortal Kombat 12 is because of his portrayal in Mortal Kombat 11. In both Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11, his story was very, very dull and had nothing to it in my opinion. Aside from him being a cool, badass cowboy, he was literally doing nothing in either 11 or X, and what the MKX version of Aaron Black had going for him was the gameplay. Aaron Black's gameplay in that game was so fun, and it was so fun to watch as well, but in Mortal Kombat 11, his gameplay is nearly as good as it was in Mortal Kombat X. I understand there's a lore reason of why he can come back, and that he was given a longer lifespan than the normal humans, but if he were to come back, what would he even do? And his fatal blow in Mortal Kombat 11 is so annoying to deal with, because he could just pull it out of his ass and do it from anywhere. And so that is about it. Now I know this video was very very short, I was planning on my next video to be Mortal Kombat 12 roster, but I had some issues with the editing of that video, but the Mortal Kombat 12 video will be, will be out soon, trust me. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, it helps this channel way more than you could imagine. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you all later. Thank you.